Hello YouTubers, uh, in this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the most uh, recent uh, features that GitHub announced, something that's called GitHub Copilot. It's basically your AI powered pair programmer to help you write code faster, you know, go find, you know, across the entirety of, um, of GitHub, you know, code bases across GitHub, find out, you know, similar patterns, similar functionality, and then it comes back and picks that code for you and then puts it right there you know in your code base if I were to uh, describe it better it's basically a glorified copy paste kind of mechanism and I'm gonna show you in a second why is that um, there's a lot of intelligence in there I don't want to underestimate uh, or undervalue the amount of work that po people put in where you just get to type natural language and it picks up you know whatever you're saying and then it tries to find a matching um, uh, a matching code base to it that's true but also on top of all of this it's still you know it goes and sometimes it will pick up code that has someone else's name in it and stuff like that and I'm gonna show you that in a second but let me just uh, navigate you here real quick to the um, interesting piece so this is your AI pair programmer right and you know there's a bunch of examples in here it shows you know you go and type something and it tries and go and autocomplete that something for you which is really cool and uh, you know it you know while you're typing your even even while you're typing your um uh your suggestions or the the comment that you're putting in so it knows to go and, and pick that up for you sometimes it will even autocomplete you know the the comment that you're writing in so if you're writing a comment in there and it you know it doesn't quite understand what you're really looking for it will try and, and autocomplete that for you how does that start you know first of all you, you have to go and sign up and basically request you know i want to i want to join the copilot wait list you know if they approve you you know you're going to get a little email in here and this little email says welcome to github copilot technical preview you know we're thrilled to invite you to start testing copilot go ahead click the link you click the link it takes you to a um a uh, the visual studio marketplace for visual studio code that doesn't require a sign in but your actual enrollment is really important so there's an install button in there and then as soon as you install uh, it it will basically require you to log in with your github account and then you go on your own merry way to start actually writing code so here's the deal. As soon as you install it, and let me hide the camera here real quick so you see what's what's going on. As soon as you install it, you see that little robot down here. That little robot down here basically tells you this is this is the you know the copilot, right? And it says you can enable it, disable it, and all that kind of stuff, right? So this guy right now is is not deactivated, so it's active. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start showing you what that does. You know, it's a you know when, at first glance it'll blow your mind. It's actually really really cool. There's some whoever thought about this. It's it's a great great idea. So let me just save my file here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do Control S, and I'm just gonna go up in here and say magic.cs. So this is a C sharp project, right? And let me zoom in a little bit here so everyone could just see what's going on here. So this is zoom in, zoom in. Zoom, okay, there you go. I don't I don't use uh, Visual Studio Code that much. I only use it to kind of edit the standard and the guidelines. So uh, bear with me here if I forget a, a shortcut or some magical, you know, thing to do that makes things easier. So so let's just get started. So I have this guy activated, the copilot activated, and now I'm just gonna type something like this, like you know, define a student class with ID, name, and age. Okay, that's all I, I said in here. That's all what I want to do. If I do enter like this, right? See, it's picking up a few things. Now watch watch this. I go like this. It says, okay, class magic. That's your file. Here's a main. Here's a student class. See, it's picking up someone else's code, right? And it's trying to find the best possible way. Look, it's going here and it's trying to define. Look, first name last name see sometimes it'll bug out you know it won't really know what to find sometimes it's smart sometimes it's not right like there are places where you go and go and say define a function that adds two numbers like this if I go and do this it'll go and say well here's a function that adds two numbers boom done right if I go and say it, it can get complicated right you know define a function that finds the shortest path between two nodes 
in a graph. See, it auto completes, you know, what I'm trying to type in. So I'm going to go up in here and say, okay, which algorithm do you want using the this algorithm or that algorithm? And then as, as you go like this, it's basically auto completing all the little pieces. And that can go forever. Like you can, you know, it, it could start doing all kinds of different, check this out. So let's go in here. Here's your graph. Here is the iterations. Here you go. And I haven't actually, like, I had tried this a couple of times, but most of the stuff that I'm doing here, I'm just, it's just going out there and reading someone else's code. I'm basically trying to find the best guess for you. I wouldn't be writing code like this for sure, but here we go. So it's basically auto-completing. All you have to do is just click, you know, enter, fill in the, 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 uh, the lines and so on and so forth. Boom. Before you know it, you have the entirety of... Uh, the the function that you want that you know finds the shortest path you know all written up for you okay and then it does some other kind of interesting things right so if you go in, in there and say is you know uh, uh, class uh, if I go like this and say class student right like this you know it's kind of gonna try it's like Visual Studio right now like Visual Studio 2022 has this kind of capability it will try to guess things for you it's already there look it's trying to guess, you know, what else you could possibly need. And sometimes it'll error out. Look, it's adding in a closing thing in there that you don't really need, right? So it's that's basically, in its essence, what it's doing. You're, you, like I said, it's a very smart, glorified, copy-paste machine powered by AI. And don't take this as an underestimation or undervalue. It's just a very smart, some, some really smart people went out there and they said, okay, I want to go and, you know, search GitHub you know, intelligently search GitHub and then be able to find the code that best matches what people are looking for. And to be honest with you, like as software engineers, it doesn't matter where, where we're from, you know, we're starting to speak the same language, right? So it doesn't matter whether you're from Japan or Saudi Arabia or from England or from here in the US, you know, if any programmer anywhere, right, started saying, oh, private class members, right? Everyone will understand exactly what they mean because that's that's really what that's really what what they have all agreed on from a from a software computer science and software development perspective. Um, one more thing that that I tried in here, and this is where it gets a little harder, right? This is like saying, okay, um, um, uh, read temperature from an I/O device. I don't know what this is gonna do, but I'm trying to break it. Look, look at this. See, it's copying someone else's code. It's even putting their names in there. Look at this, and it did. It seems like it did find something, right? Here's all the updates, right? So this is this is the trick about all of this, and you can of course skip all of this and go and say. And some people say it's 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 much better with uh, other languages other than C sharp. Like even on the website, they'll show you like JavaScript, uh, they'll show you um, uh, Python, some of these languages. But uh, here you go, it printed hello world, and there's nothing in there. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, okay, yeah, there's no more suggestions, right? So when, the more complicated things get, you know, the more it'll struggle. But this is a great start. It's actually a great start because it's basically trying to find the best possible way to find code, you know, that would help you. Like, imagine that you're doing a POC real quick and you can't really remember off the top of your head, you know, whether you want to, you know, how, how to serialize. A, 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 a student object into JSON, for instance. So I want to go here and say, define a function that serializes um, uh, an object, look, 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 an object to JSON. I don't know what this one is going to do, but, you know, let's, let's just give it a shot. See, here's, here's, it's bringing the Newton soft, defining based on the file. See, there's some work going on. Look at this. There you go. So off the top of your head, you don't have to search for this anymore, right? It's out there. You can use it. You know, uh, I mean, it's invite only, but eventually it's going to be out there. Uh, there are some rumors around it being commercialized. There are some people like you'll see some really angry reactions on the Internet. You know, some people are saying, don't use this tool. It's bad. It's bad for you. I mean, we as software engineers. And by the way, just just to let you know, you know, um, I've been doing this for over 20 something years now. And still, until today, I still go and Google things and try to find, you know, certain things on Stack Overflow and Google. You know, just don't feel like 
it's a bad thing that you're going out there and trying to learn because you know for, for us a software engineer it's basically a hive mind you know uh, growing up you know people used to tell us in school oh you're not supposed to look up uh, it's not an open book exam and you can't you know look at you know uh, certain things when it comes to uh, learning about, about a particular topic but that's not really how the real world works it helps that you have a great memory that you can just remember things off the top of your head but it's not practical anymore and with with an application like this like um, uh, github copilot i think it's making things even uh, much much easier so that's what it is. Um, you know, uh, what do you think about this feature? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, do you love it or hate it? I think a lot of people who are still learning programming and, you know, starting down that path would appreciate it. People who are a little bit seasoned uh, in the industry, they might find some use of it, you know. And then just like everything else, you know, some people find something to, 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 to be mad about, you know. Um, anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let's start, start the discussion about this, you know, and more than happy to try things out for you since they approved me for um for this preview version just you know throw something at me and i'll try it out and let you know what what the outcome may be um more than happy to you know kind of um let you experiment and see what this looks like from my perspective and uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you in another video